Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our curious viewers, Abundio Noel Libot. Thanks for the suggestion, Noel. You asked, why do clocks have 12 hours instead of 24? When you think about it, wouldn't it be way simpler to just count straight to 24? Why do we loop back to 1 after 12, like a broken progress bar? Well, it turns out the answer goes way back to ancient civilizations, weird counting systems, and humans just refusing to change. So, if you've ever stared at a clock and wondered who decided this, stick around. We're breaking it all down right here on Explaining Everything. To get to the bottom of this, we need to go way back, before digital clocks, before sundials, even before people were arguing over daylight savings time. The ancient Egyptians were obsessed with numbers, but instead of counting on their fingers like normal people, they used their knuckles. Each finger, except the thumb, has three segments. Four fingers, three segments each. Boom, 12. They loved this system so much, they applied it everywhere. 12 months, 12 zodiac signs, 12 gods in many myths. Basically, 12 was their go-to number. Naturally, they used this system for timekeeping, dividing daylight into 12 segments or hours. But there was a catch. These hours weren't fixed. In summer, daytime hours were longer and in winter, they were shorter. Imagine trying to set an alarm under that system. Wake up at 7 a.m. ish. Total chaos. For a while, nighttime didn't have any official hours. Then the Babylonians came along and decided that was unfair. They divided the night into 12 hours too, bringing the total to 24. So now the full day was measured in 24 hours, but for some reason people continued using clocks that only went up to 12 before resetting. Why didn't they just go straight to 24? Maybe it was because sundials and early water clocks were already designed that way and nobody wanted to reinvent the wheel. Or maybe they were just too busy inventing astrology to care. Either way, the 12-hour cycle remained, and things only got weirder from here. The Romans took the existing system and somehow made it even more confusing. Their hours weren't equal in length because, like the Egyptians, they based them on sunlight. In summer, Daytime hours were longer. In winter, they were shorter. But the real headache was that noon wasn't a fixed time. It changed depending on where you were. If you've ever struggled with time zones, just know that the Romans had it even worse. Imagine trying to schedule a meeting when noon in Egypt wasn't the same as noon in Britain. It's no wonder Roman society eventually collapsed. Half their time was probably spent just trying to figure out what time it was. Despite all this, Romans stuck with a 12-hour format for daily life. And when mechanical clocks started replacing sundials, people just went with what they already knew. By the time proper clocks became common in medieval Europe, the 12-hour format was too familiar to change. Even though the day was officially measured as 24 hours, people didn't bother renumbering their clocks. Some cultures did use a full 24-hour system, but when mechanical clocks became widespread, they were mostly made in Europe, where people were already used to 12-hour time. 
By then, switching to a full 24-hour cycle would have been like deciding that from now on, we all drive on the other side of the road. Technically possible, but guaranteed to cause chaos. And humans, being humans, tend to resist change. So the 12-hour system became the standard for daily life, while 24-hour time got reserved for things that required more precision, like the military, hospitals, and digital clocks that you accidentally set wrong and don't know how to fix. Let's be honest, 24-hour time just sounds intense. Saying dinner at 7 p.m. sounds casual and friendly. Saying dinner at 1900 makes it sound like a military operation. For most people, 12-hour time just feels more natural. It divides the day into two manageable halves, morning and evening, without making things feel too technical. Even in places where 24-hour time is the norm, like much of Europe, people still casually use 12-hour time in conversation. At this point, switching to a universal 24-hour clock would be possible, but why bother? The 12-hour format works just fine, even if it doesn't totally make sense. So, TLDW. The Egyptians picked 12 because of how they counted. The Babylonians made it a full 24-hour cycle. The Romans kept 12-hour clocks alive. And humans, being humans, never bothered to change it. That's why we have a system where noon happens at 12, military time calls it 1200, and somehow we still say o'clock, even though nobody uses clocks with bells anymore. At the end of the day, it works, even if it doesn't totally make sense. So next time you check your watch, just remember, you're looking at a little piece of history. And also, maybe you're running late. If you enjoyed this, hit that like button faster than a Roman sundial loses relevance after sunset. And don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where, and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.